Chernobyl, April 26, 1986. Alright, I need to look up something for the thing. Uh, how do I spell this? Uh, Alright, this should be good. Good evening, here's what's happening tonight. The Soviets are saying little, but what is known is cause for concern. A nuclear accident has occurred at a Soviet atomic plant in the Ukraine. In the form of mild nuclear radiation had already reached beyond the Soviet borders to Scandinavia. According to these reports, all bus service in the city of Kiev has been stopped so that the buses can be used to evacuate those in the disaster area. It's now clear that the Soviet Union has suffered one of the worst disasters in the history of nuclear power. Chernobyl is widely considered the worst nuclear incident ever, causing over 16,000 deaths since the accident. Its cleanup involved over 500,000 personnel and roughly $76.8 billion, with its effect reaching all of Europe, reaching across the Mediterranean and forcing an occlusion zone 30 kilometers wide, it is no doubt a disaster. On the 26th of April, 1986, a safety test of reactor number 4 was executed. During an intended decrease of power, it suddenly dropped to almost zero, putting the reactor in a hazardous condition. The reactor manager overlooked the risk and proceeded with the test anyway. After the test, the reactor operators triggered a shutdown of the reactor. Due to operator failure and critical design flaws in the reactor, it instead primed the reactor to explode. The firefighters who first came described their experience with the radiation as tasting like metal and a feeling of pins and needles across the face. The evacuation was only to be three days, since most people were told to only bring personal belongings, many items still sit there today. In total, around 350,000 people were removed from the exclusion zone since 2022. Cleanup of the reactor's roof was by far the most dangerous part. The plan was to use remote-controlled robots, but due to the high radiation and rough terrain, only about 10% of the debris on the roof was removed before the robots shut down or broke completely. The rest had to be done by liquidators. These men were called bio-robots, as they were tasked with doing what the robots were supposed to do. Despite their protective clothing, the high radiation still limited each liquidator 60 seconds before they would have to return to not immediately get radiation poisoning. They would complete their task, removing 100 tons of debris off the roof. Many, although, would perish soon after. The construction of the sarcophagus was necessary to prevent the spread of hazardous radiation to the rest of the world. It would take over five months to design and build the sarcophagus. Even 40 years after the incident, the surrounding area is still a dangerous area to be in. Some sources say it would take over 320 years before it could become habitable, while others say it could take 20,000 years. With the current war in Ukraine, it poses itself as a high-value target to opposing forces.